Hi, this is April. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited that the Supreme Court is hearing the case on a football coach, Joe Kennedy from Washington State. He would pray on the field and it was voluntary for players to join in with his prayers, but the school officials demanded he stop because they felt like it was coercing players to pray with him or lose their positions on the team, which wasn't true at all. Joe Kennedy has every right to freely express his religious beliefs on school grounds. Just remember that we all do. You can't force everyone else to pray with you. That's not what he was doing. But I'm really glad the Supreme Court has taken up this case and I'm really hoping that with some of these more conservative justices added, like Amy Coney Barrett, they might rule that school prayer is allowed. I love this question that Justice Clarence Thomas asked the attorney for the school district. It's no secret I love Justice Thomas. He grew up in the segregated South and he overcame so much to get to where he is. He asked, if the coach, instead of taking a knee for prayer, took a knee during the national anthem, because of moral opposition to racism, how would your school district respond? Would you give up your job if you were asked not to display your faith in Christ? I'm really proud of Joe Kennedy, this football coach who stood his ground. And if students wanna join a coach or a teacher in prayer, they should have every right to, based on our constitutional rights, to freely express our religious beliefs. I'm saying a prayer that the right decision will be made by the Supreme Court and people can freely pray in the schools once again. You can't force every student to pray with you, but you should be able to pray if you want to. If you like this video, give it a like, consider subscribing for more news and reviews, and God bless.